Hi guys, Mike here from Com3 Interactive. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to what I think is the seventh episode in our first person controller <laughs> tutorial series. And in this video, we're going to handle zooming a camera in and out. And it's relatively easy, relatively straightforward, but it just again gives you an extra option to add to this controller. So before we jump into it, I do want to just thank Gigatank3000 for sponsoring this video. I've got his links down in the description below. Go check him out on Twitter. Go check out his website. Really nice guy. Keep up to date with what he's doing. And I also just want to thank everybody supporting me over on Patreon. You guys are fantastic. All right, so let's just jump straight in to our script here. So we're going to be adding the zoom functionality. So again, let's add a feature toggle for can zoom. We also want to add a key in for our zoom key. And I'm going to assign this to be mouse one, which is right mouse button. And this time we're going to actually add in a few parameters that we can amend in the inspector. Let's add another header in here and we'll call this zoom parameters. So what do we actually want? Uh, first, we want to see how long it'll take to actually zoom in. So we can set a time to zoom. And I'm going to set that to 0.3. So 0.3 seconds. Next, we want an actual target field of view for our zoom level. So I'm going to call that zoom FOV. And I'm going to set that to 30. And I'll show you exactly what that's going to do right now. So if we pop over to our camera, which is the child of our first person controller, over here on the right hand side, we see we have a field of view slider. And anyone who's played games before knows exactly what this is, but we can actually zoom out by increasing our FOV, and we can zoom in by decreasing that FOV. So by default, we're at 60 on our FOV. If we set that to 30, we're zoomed in. So that's the property that we're actually going to change when we zoom our camera. Next, we'll just keep a private float of our default FOV. And finally, we're going to keep a private reference to core routine because we're going to be doing this zoom through a core routine and we want to be able to stop it on demand. And you'll see why later in the tutorial. But we'll call that zoom routine. Next, let's add into our update our check. So if can zoom, we're going to handle zoom. We'll create that function just down here. That'll be a private void handle zoom. And we also want to create our core routine. So that's going to be another private enumerator toggle zoom. And again, we don't want two separate ones for zooming in and zooming out. So we're going to use the same one. And we're going to do that by passing in a parameter called is enter. So that'll be whether or not we're entering the zoom state or if it's false, we're exiting the, the zoom state. Right, so let's get working on our handle zoom method for now. So let's start by zooming in. So if down zoom key. So if we press our right mouse button, we want to zoom in. So first of all, I want to check if our zoom routine is not equal to null. So if it's not equal to null, then that means we're already mid zoom. So I want to stop the zoom routine core routine, set that to null. And then outside of that if statement, we're going to set zoom routine equal to start core routine, toggle zoom and pass in true because we are entering the zoom state. And now we can copy this and paste it directly underneath. But this time it's going to be get key up zoom key. So if we release the right mouse button, we want to do the exact same check. We want to make sure that if zoom routine is not equal to null, we stop it, we set it to null, and then we start the zoom routine. But this time we're going to pass in false because we're already zoomed in and we want to zoom back out. So that should handle the actual starting and ending of our core routine. But the core routine itself is where we're going to actually do the zoom in functionality. 
and we're going to do it quite similar to how we did our crouch and stand. So we're going to lurk between two values. So let's start by setting up our target values. So float target FOV is going to equal is enter. If it is enter, we want to pass in our zoom field of view, so our actual 30, or else we want to pass in our default field of view. Next, we'll keep a reference to our starting field of view. And now this is important because if we stop our core routine, that means that our actual field of view may not necessarily be 30 or 60. So if we start spamming that right mouse button to zoom in and out, we want to make sure that we pick up that zoom routine from where we left off, but then go in the opposite direction. So to do that, we'll just take a reference to whatever our field of view is up to, which is going to be our player camera dot field of view. Next, just like in the crouch and stand, we need a float for time elapsed, and we're going to set that to zero. Add in our while statement, and while time elapsed is less than a time to zoom, we want to lerp that value in. So we're going to lerp player camera dot field of view equals mathf dot lerp, not methf. That's a completely different tutorial. Mathf dot lerp, and we want to go from a starting FOV to a target FOV, and then our time step is going to be time elapsed divided by our time to zoom. Remember to increment our time elapsed by time dot delta time, so that's plus equals time dot delta time, and then you'll return null to wait for the next frame. And then just like I said in the crouching and standing tutorial, we want to make sure that we round that target value off. So right outside of that while statement, we'll set player camera dot field of view equal to our target. And then right at the very end, we want to set zoom routine equal to null because we're finished with it. So next time we press it, we don't want to stop this routine because it isn't actually running. And now the final thing we need to do is cache our default value. So our default FOV inside of a wake will set equal to our player camera dot field of view. So whatever we have it set to inside of our inspector should be our default field of view, which in this instance is 60. All right, so let's test this working. That should be it for the zoom. So there we go. We have a 60 FOV by default. If we press right click, it should take 0.3 seconds to zoom in. And it does, and then if we release it, we'll zoom back out to our default. And because we actually did the catch by caching our starting FOV, if we're halfway through a zoom, we should just zoom straight back out if we click and then unclick very quickly. And we do. Perfect. And there we have it. A nice little smooth zoom functionality for your camera. So again, that is a completely optional feature that you can add into your first person controller as and when you see fit by toggling that can zoom bool. Now in the next video, we're going to handle interaction. Now this is probably going to be quite a complex one and it's probably going to be the one that needs the most focus, but we're going to get through it together. So I hope to see you in the next video. I've been Mike for Com3 Interactive and I'll see you again next week. That was terrible. What the hell was that? Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the content, remember to subscribe to the channel for weekly Unity tutorials.